Mushrooms are something that can be polarizing. You either like them or you don't. They're one of my favorite things. I can eat them just about any way you can give them to me. And one of my favorite ways to have them is in a creamy mushroom soup. So today on the channel, I'm gonna make a creamy gluten-free mushroom soup. And this comes from a place that you can't even get anymore because it's a restaurant recipe that I was able to find online and I've had to recreate it gluten-free. I'm Jamie with Savory Saver. I share gluten-free recipes, tips, tricks, and resources to make your gluten-free lifestyle easier. So let's get started. So I said this creamy mushroom soup was a restaurant recipe and it comes from the restaurant Sweet Tomatoes or Soup Plantation. So if you know either of those names, this is where I first had this type of mushroom soup. They're no longer in business, but it was definitely my favorite reason to go there. It also wasn't gluten-free, as I said. So we've converted that over so you guys can have it. So I'm going to start with about four tablespoons of olive oil in the bottom of a pot. And I've got it heating over medium-high heat. And I'll adjust that down if I need to a little bit. But I think we'll be good because we're going to saute this for about 15 minutes. So I'm going to add a couple large stalks of celery that I've diced up. It's about a cup if you're looking at it that way. I also am going to add five or six cups of sliced mushrooms. So you want anywhere between a pound to a pound and a half of mushrooms. Mushrooms, of course, have a ton of water in them, so they're gonna cook down. I did clean and slice these myself. I prefer to do it that way, just because usually the whole ones look better in the store. But if this was something that you were making day of or even the next day after buying them, then you could probably get away with the sliced ones just fine. I'm also gonna add about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. We're not adding any salt at this point. Give everything a stir. Now, of course, we need to cook these mushrooms down and it is gonna take about 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna stir these every once in a while for about 15 minutes until they're nice and soft and tender. And then we will move forward with the recipe. So we're probably six or seven minutes into this. And as you can see, the mushrooms have shrunk a lot, but there's also all of this liquid at the bottom. So cooking them down like this is gonna allow some of that to boil off, which is what we're looking for. So we're gonna keep going for about another 10 minutes and then we'll move forward. So we're right at the 15 minute mark. And as you can see, there's not much liquid down at the bottom. So the first half of the cooking time really gets all that moisture out of the mushrooms. The second half of that cooking time allows that water to boil off. So we are left with some browned mushrooms that aren't super waterlogged. So now what we need to do is I have reduced the heat down to medium and I'm gonna transfer all of this to a bowl. Now to the empty pot, I'm gonna add some butter. This is unsalted, and the original recipe called for three tablespoons. I'm gonna use four tablespoons because that's what was left on the stick. So let's melt that down, again, over medium heat. Once the butter is melted, we're now gonna make a gluten-free roux. So you could use five tablespoons of a gluten-free flour blend if you want, that should work fine. I'm gonna use three tablespoons of rice flour and two tablespoons of tapioca starch. Give everything a whisk. And now you wanna whisk it for three to five minutes because we wanna give everything time to cook. We want that rice flour and that starch to really not taste raw anymore. And we hopefully will get a little bit of color on it. And you want to whisk pretty much constantly because we don't want it to burn. All right, so it's been probably three or four minutes and we're actually, it's nice and brown. It's not as dark as a traditional root, but it does have some color to it. So let's keep moving forward. 
This recipe actually uses bullion instead of broth for its base. So I'm actually gonna use two kinds of bullion. I'm gonna use a beef bullion, that's one tablespoon. And I'm going to use a tablespoon of chicken bullion. So use whatever type of bullion that you like that is gluten-free. I'm using paste, but you could also use the powdered stuff that will work just fine. To that, I'm gonna add three and a half cups of water. Give everything a whisk again. Once your water's in the pot and your bouillon has dissolved pretty much, you wanna bring this to a boil and we wanna boil it for 10 to 15 minutes. And that's gonna allow this to thicken up some. And then pretty much at that point, we just need to finish it off by adding some stuff back into the pot. So it's been about 10 minutes. I don't think it needs the extra five minutes. We're gonna be good. Let's get the remainder of the ingredients added and get this soup finished off. So I've got those mushrooms and celery and any of the juices that have accumulated at the bottom of the bowl. We're gonna add those back in. Finally, I'm gonna add some milk. So I have a cup of whole milk and a cup of half and half in here. Guys, use whatever milk, cream, half and half, Use any combination that you like. You may not keep, keep cream or half and half in the house, so just use milk and maybe add an extra tablespoon of starch or something to thicken it more if it's not what you want. We don't need to be picky about the milk. Of course, more fat in whatever milk you pick will make it more creamy, but it doesn't mean if you use something less fatty that it's not gonna be any good. Now we wanna stir it around. We want to warm it through and let it thicken a little more if needed, and then adjust your salt, add more pepper if you want, and we're going to be ready to taste this. So our creamy gluten-free mushroom soup is done, and I know this isn't a fancy bowl, but you guys can probably actually see it a little bit better in there. Loaded with mushrooms. Guys, this makes plenty of broth, so if you want to do Three eight ounce packages of mushrooms, do that. If you wanna even up it to another package of mushrooms, do that. Put what you want in here for the amount of mushrooms because you're gonna have plenty of broth for it. So it's just gonna depend on how many mushrooms you want in there. So plenty of simmer time. It's creamy. So we had some thickeners in there. We used rice flour, tapioca starch to thicken. The whole milk and half and half that I used, you know, that's a thicker than if you have a you know lower percentage of milk fat in your in your dairy products but use whatever you want to use guys if you only have whole milk just use whole milk if you have heavy cream use some of that instead of the half and half don't worry about the milk so much because you can always thicken it a little bit more with the tapioca starch and the rice flour so let's give it a taste So I really like the combo of the two bullions, the beef and the chicken. Definitely give it more flavor than just one of those would. I also really like that I didn't add any additional salt to this. By all means, if you need more salt in this, you can, but the bullion had plenty of it, so I don't feel that it needs any. I did use black pepper. Originally in the recipes I was looking at, they used white pepper, which I actually have white pepper in the cabinet but most of us don't probably have that in the cabinet. So if you wanted to use white pepper, you certainly could instead of the black pepper. White pepper is a little more mild. It's a little more florally. Florally, florally, did I say that right? Anyway, if you have white pepper, you could certainly use that. It does remind me of the sweet tomatoes slash soup plantation soup that they used to have. It's just a good mushroom soup. It is one of my favorites, and I haven't made it in a while, so it's actually nice to make it now when the weather is finally getting to be soup season again. Guys, that's all I have for today. Please leave me any comments below. Do you even like mushrooms? Some people just don't. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.